This is going to be for those who don't know how to use or have never used a ping file in your Cricut machine. And I will have this as a zip file on my freebies on my blog at thecoveredchipboard.com. So, um, <clears throat> if you, um, let me go ahead and cancel this for now. Okay, here's where I'm at. This is for the um, gingerbread house. And so what I want to do is I want to upload the ping files. In order to do that, you want to click on Upload Image, then Browse, and then locate the file on your, um, your computer, desktop, or wherever you have them stored. And then um, let me find these. Where did they go? Now I can't find them. Oh, here they are. And so then once you find the one that you want, you're going to click on it and click Open. When it comes in, you're going to click Complex and click Continue. Now, on this, you can try to use the Select and Erase, but it's probably going to... Well, it worked. It did not. It took out all the white area, except sometimes it will take some of this white area out if um, the outside lines are not good. So at this point, you'll hit continue, and you want to save as a print then cut image, and you'll know you've selected because it has this green border around it, and it's uh, bright. The background is bright. Click save. That loads it into here, and you want to select it, and then click insert images, and it will pop it up on here. Now, once it's on here, this one has them together, so you want to separate them out. So you'll want to use a shape. Just a square is fine. You want to make it large enough to cover that one of the images. Hold your shift key. Click on the other image, and you'll see down here in the bottom right it says slice. So slice. Click on the square. Get rid of that. Click on this. Get rid of this. And now this is independent from this piece. So, for this project, you'll need to upload these and separate them. You also want to upload the holiday sign. I'm going to insert that now. And for this image, we'll go ahead and make it first. Now, you want this to all cut as one solid piece, and then we're going to have extra pieces after that. Um, so, let's go ahead and we want to duplicate the sign, so we'll have an extra, well, let's wait until after we size it. Um, this guy will go on top, so you want to move him to the front, set him about right there. His legs will go to the back, and you want to stick them underneath just about right, probably right like that. Well, we can go a little bit more. Now, let's go back to where we were. Okay. Then you want to take this image, and we want to size it down so that it will fit in our front door. And I already have the sizes noted. Should have had that in front of me. Now, let's see. It should be... Let's see. 2.436... And you're going to have to unlock it. So 2.436, that's the width. The height should be 1.883. I don't know why that does that. There we go. Oh. 1.883. Sometimes it just wants to ha have a mind of its own. Uh, that looks small to me, so let me go over here. Well, no, I guess it's not. I want to check it against the one I've already done. That looks good. Okay, so again, that's 2.436 by 1.883. So you'll need to make note of that. Now, once it's here together, I want to go ahead and right-click, duplicate. Let's move it over here. Go back and select all of these. I can click on lock and I want to group them. 
So now this, we want to have an extra sign because we're going to put it up on top of the sign here. The feet, we don't need. You could use them if you want. We'll leave them and you can go ahead and use those. And the head. Now the head, we're going to need a second one of. So we want to duplicate that because we're going to use this hat. We're going to cut some of these pieces apart. So we have all of these pieces that we need. And then these are here, all connected. So the next thing we're going to do is upload our um, the candy cane or the peppermint strip. And you want to mark it down to, it will be five, whoops, 5.768 by, oh, and again, I always forget to unlock it, by 0 0.35. Whoops. How about, ah. Uh, 0 0.35. There we go. And again, that's, let me double check that that's correct. So one of those will be 5.768 by 0 0.35. And then you want to uh, duplicate this at least four times. Let me just do this. You can select both of them at once and duplicate two at a time. So there we have four of those. You're going to need at least five probably to go around the house. And if you want, you can duplicate it more than that many times. And you can cut this bottom strip off and put an extra strip on top and it will give this the appearance of being behind the um, the peppermints. If you also, if you wanted to here, you could do duplicate, then you can take a square, a square shape, and you can come over here and lay it just at the bottom of the peppermints there. You might want to um, double check that, but then you can select both of these and you can do a slice. Let's get rid of the black. We can pull the peppermints off, get rid of those, get rid of this black, and there you've got an extra bar. So if you want, you can go ahead and add a couple of those in there. Then you don't have to cut it apart, it will cut it for you. Duplicate that. And one more. There you go. Now, we've got this already set up. And we're going to have the extra sign. We have two of the heads because we're going to need extra heads. And an extra feet. Now, the next thing we want to add, and this is optional, is this little light. We'll insert it and it needs to be sized down to let me unlock it 0 0.489 by 0 0.624 and that will give it the correct size and for those you want to have four of them because we're going to stack one on top of the other. So now everything should be sized right. You can go ahead and select it all, do a group, and attach. Now you also want to flatten and then come over here to the bottom right you'll see flatten and I'll tell you why see how this is all one piece right here if you let's go back before I flattened it as it looks now see how it's trying to cut everything separately 
it wants to do a separate cut and print on all of these. And we don't want to do that because what it'll do is it'll come in and cut this right here away from this. You won't have these pieces together. So if you select everything and you do flatten, now it's one item for cut and print. So everything will be cut as it's seen on here. And um, that's all you need to do. Save your files and then you can go ahead and cut it out and print it. And later on I'll show you how we're going to put it together. So that's it for today. Thanks. Hope you're enjoying the project.